presidential leadership in the United States has come forward. While we also track more details, viewers now, the former United States ambassador to the United Nations and former national security advisor to the U.S., John Bolton, uh, had said after Donald Trump secured the win that he, while he was the NSA during the Trump's previous term as a president, trade and tariffs dominated the India-U.S. relations and Trump and Prime Minister Narendra Modi's conversation but hoped that it would be different now. He also, in fact, issued a statement on Donald Trump's policy towards China and Indo-Pacific, instead saying that he did, a, he did take a very rhetorical line against China because he somewhere blamed China for his defeat in 2020, but will not admit that. In fact, now he took uh, allegations against newly elected president of the United States, Donald Trump. Let's now listen into what he has said. Assessment of Trump's policy, you know, China exercised caution uh, in its statement and it's, uh, you know, asserted that Beijing will continue to oversee ties with the U.S. in accordance with the principles of mutual interest uh, in respect. So how do you see Trump's policy towards China? Well, you know, during the campaign, he took a very tough rhetorical line against China, which I attribute to the fact that he believes that it was the COVID pandemic and the economic consequences of COVID that, that led to his defeat in 2020. And COVID obviously originated in China. So he, he blames China for it fairly or unfairly. Uh, of course, he lost the election for a number of reasons. He, he's, he won't really admit that. He says it's stolen. But he believes his political troubles in 2020 uh, stemmed in large part from COVID. So negative on China. But again, up to the point when uh, I think uh, if Xi Jinping were to call uh, Trump as, as part of the campaign of foreign leaders to call him on day one or day two after the election to congratulate him and say, look, uh, Donald, I'm, I'm so glad you're back in office. Let's get together. Let's Let's restart our negotiations and let's get the biggest trade deal in history. Uh, I think Trump would go along with it. I, I think Xi Jinping, Vladimir Putin know how to play Trump. And I think that's what they're considering how to do in their respective capitals. Assessment of Trump's all right, my colleague Arzu Said joins me live back on the broadcast. Now, Arzu, what we've heard is in fact uh, John Bolton's statement against uh, Donald Trump on China. He, in fact, also said that Trump blamed China for the defeat in 2020 and Trump took a rhetorical line against China. He also, uh, apart from focusing on these issues, uh, laid the emphasis on how India-US bilateral ties are very important at this point after now jo uh, Donald Trump has become the new president of the United States. What exactly are you tracking the latest on this? Uh, well, yes, Simran, you know, former National Security Advisor John Bolton offered insight about the, you know, the U.S. approach towards the Trump's approach towards the China and also and the Indian Pacific. He explained that the Trump uh, adopted a tough uh, instance against the China during his campaign, uh, which Bolton attributes to Trump's belief that, the, you know, the COVID-19 pandemic uh, uh, originating in China and also uh, played a major role in uh, the loss in the 2020 elections. Also, Trump often... Uh, blame the pandemic and its economic uh, fallout uh, uh, you know of his political troubles through the belt on points out uh, that there were several reasons for his defeat that trump refused to accept instead uh, claiming the election was stolen also uh, you know bolton highlights uh, you know highlighted a striking uh, contradiction in uh, trump's behavior uh, despite his harsh uh, rhetoric against the china bolton believe uh, you know trump could easily change his position if the china uh, President Xi Jinping extend a congratulatory uh, call or congratulate him after the uh, you know win and also Bolton speculates Xi Jinping uh, proposed the resuming talk on a you know major trade agreement. Trump would likely embarrass the opportunity showing a willingness to restart uh, relations. So this remains to be seen you know what next uh, regarding the relation between the US and China because uh, we also doesn't have such good relation with the China but we also have you know uh, somewhere it's uh, beginning to restart such relations and improving those relations so this remains to be seen what next in these yes similar 
All right, Arzu, thank you for giving us the latest in fact that you're tracking. And right now, it's time to move on to track another developments that we are putting in focus viewers at this point of time. Can you 